Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, I will show you some new tools that I bought for cleaning my planter aquarium. Now in this video, I will show you how it works and you can also decide if it is good or bad and you can also buy it. The links are in video descriptions. So let's get started. This is my nano planter aquarium. If you have been watching my videos, you may know that I have a seven gallon nano planter aquarium. Due to some work going on in my house, new floor tiles were laid so i haven't got the time to clean this nano planted aquarium and there is this brown algae like things all over the place it is on the motors on the filters on the co2 diffuser and also on the aquarium walls so i will try to clean this aquarium and i will show you guys how i did it in this video i have found some new tools that i bought online if you found it useful as well you can buy it from the links in the video descriptions so keep watching till the end and find out whether this tool is useful for you or not now the first set of tool i purchased from online is this algae scraper it cost me around eight dollars or about 600 indian rupees it comes with an additional blade and the second set of tool i found is this baby toothbrush tool it cost me around three dollars or about 200 indian rupees this is baby toothbrush set it can be used to clean dirty leaves in the planted aquarium and i will show you how i use it in this video now this is baby toothbrush thing so you can use it to clean the dirty leaves inside the planted aquarium and this is the algae scraper it comes with an additional blade it is very sharp so you have to be very careful while using this tool Firstly, I will use this algae scraper to clean out the dirt or algae that are on the aquarium glass walls. You have to gently press the blade onto the aquarium glass wall and gently move it. So it will remove this algae with ease and you can already see the neat aquarium glass. Use it carefully. If you rub that corner of that blade, it can easily scratch the aquarium walls. Use it like you are shaving your bread or shaving any other parts of your body. Use it gently without applying scratch on the aquarium walls. Now work it on all the inner sides of the aquarium glass walls and keep using it until you are satisfied with your result. Now this algae scraper is very effective in cleaning the area where the gravels meet the aquarium walls. It doesn't make that water agitations as the other normal tools used to make while cleaning that area where the gravel meets the aquarium walls. But this scraper cannot be efficiently used on curved edges like you can see here. So for the curved edges you can use ordinary toothbrush to clean it. Now it's time to clean the dirty plant leaves like I have here with the anubias leaves. There are some dirty stains on the leaves. The plants leaves become dirty mainly due to water agitations or lot of dirt in the aquarium and also due to the presence of algae. So you can clean it using this technique. I am using two baby toothbrush and gently rubbing on the surface of the plant leaves so that the dirt come out. If the stain is too hard to remove then you have to use a solutions like hydrogen peroxide or something like that. I will tell more about that in the later part of this video. Now next I am going to clean the aquarium rocks. You can use ordinary brushes or brushes with steel hairs. It is very effective in cleaning the aquarium rocks. You can gently rub the brushes and the dirt will come out. Or if it is not coming out we will deal later when we have changed considered amount of water from the aquarium. Once again make sure that the bottom edges are cleaned effectively. 
when all the heavy dirt cleaning has been finished you can now change the water so i'm going to change the water here So I have done about 60% uh, water change because there was a lot of dirt in the aquarium. Normally you only need to do about 20 to 40% water change. Since I am cleaning after so many months, so I have done the all the cleaning works and done the 60% water change. Now after the water change, you can see here the rocks and some of the plant leaves are exposed. At this time, if you want, you can clean it in more detailed way. You can apply the brushes on the rocks where it is very hard to reach while the water is full. And at this time also, you can use the hydrogen peroxide solution on the plant leaves to remove some of the dirt. Don't use heavy dosage of hydrogen peroxide, it will burn the leaf. Just apply gentle bit, little bit of a solution and remove the stains from the plant leaves. If the plant leaf is very dirty and is about to die, you can remove that plant leaf. It is very good to remove the unwanted plant leaves from the aquarium plants that are inside the planter aquarium. Once you are done with all the cleaning works inside the planter aquarium, it's time to put back the cleaned filter and all the e equipments back and it's time to fill the water back to the 100% level. After filling the water, you may see that the water will be a little cloudy, but it is much better than the previous state it was. So leave it there for about 24 to 48 hours and the water will automatically clear out, provided you have the biological media and the activated carbons inside your filter. So leave it for about some day and the water will clear. I will show the footage when the water becomes clear later in this video. So I have bought some upgrades for the nano planted aquariums. First one is this water lily pipes that are used in the inlet and outlet of the filters. So this is bit bigger for my nano planted aquarium so I have to return it. So they are not taking back so I am keeping it for, for my future use. And the second product I bought is this external filter. I thought that the motor is attached with the filter but it is only simple outside filter it does not have a motor attached so i bought this filter this one this has a motor attached i will be testing out in my nano planted aquarium and if it is working fine i will upload a review video about it so this is my nano planted aquarium after 48 hours of cleaning and water change now it is looking much clearer than the previous state it was so if you want to buy those algae scraper and the baby toothbrush the links are in video description you can buy it from there 
I hope you find this video useful. If you like this video, give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you are new to this channel, please subscribe the channel and turn on the notification to watch my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching so far. See you in the next video. Bye and take care.